Right, is this where we're heading? We're in New Jersey. Big bed, bath, and beyond. That's where we're going, IKEA. We're at IKEA looking at different things. Right. But this is the type of thing that. I like these kind of cabinets. Yeah. He's looking to build. Not in our house, so for a set. This idea, how simple is that? Because we only have a little kitchen. Biggest store ever, and I'm lost. Now we're taking the trolley escalator. We're going to get into trouble in like five minutes. It's long. Do, 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 do. This is our last video ever. We're lost <laughs> in New Jersey. Don't Pete know, loves New Jersey. Don't know where we are. But we're lost. Nah, we'll find our way. Well, we'll always find our way, but we're lost right now. Yeah. On some neighborhood street with a big water tower thing at the bottom of it. This is why I travel with snacks. It's 20 to 5 and we're sitting in Costco's parking lot. Well, I am. We were just filming and I just looked back at it and it is the most horrible angle and the bags under my eyes are huge today. I'm exhausted. So, all that talking I just did feeling awkward because people are coming around and looking. I just had to delete. So we're going to go get some sandwiches. Ash has an overnight. And she wants a couple of pieces of pizza for walking around, so it's even more awkward. And I feel like I'm just repeating myself. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But anyway, we're going to go get some food. Going to run over and get some water from the grocery store. And then just go get chicken palm sandwiches. And um, take out a couple of pieces of pizza. I got to, I'm going to have my nails done tomorrow. You know, I'm not happy with them. The more I look at them, I only had the new set done couple of weeks before Christmas and they look like months old already so I need to talk to her tomorrow been going there so long but they look really gross oh, maybe they'll look better when they're all cut and clean <sighs> oh woe is me I know all right guys I'm gonna go because I'm really tired and it doesn't look like I have any concealer on my eyeballs today well not the eyeballs but you know what I mean this is really going to not be a very good video because I really haven't done anything. So we went to Ikea though. That was exciting because Pete's looking to build a, st um, a kitchen in a studio to shoot for this new company. And he's got all these great ideas, but it was giving me good ideas for um, what I want in my kitchen. So he's probably sad I came along because I'm like, oh, that'd be nice. Oh, these would be nice. Oh, I like that. So, <laughs> Uh, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, we're going to love and leave you because I'm beat. And I will talk to you when we get home where the lighting is dim and you can hardly see me so I don't feel so self-conscious. Okay, bye guys. Hey everybody, we're home. It's uh, quarter to seven. Whew, the supermarket was crazy. We have these, um, you probably have them in supermarkets by you, but when you go in, you know you have these super saver cards. 
which you usually give to the um, cashier at the end and then if there's any sales inside the store it comes off. Well we have them in our store that you wipe, swipe it and then you get this wand and then you can do your own pricing and bagging as you go around the grocery store so then when you go out all you have to do is hit the wand on this scanner thing and then it does your price. Well none of the scanner things were working so I also have an app on my iPhone that I can use so I use that but as I was doing it, it kept saying you have another order. Um, you have another order in progress. Do you want to cancel? I'm like, I don't have another order in progress. I just came in. It's my first item. So I'm scanning it on my phone. And it keeps beeping me out. And then Pete comes over. I guess Pete had been over the other side where the scanners were. And he was trying to get a scanner. There's two areas you can retrieve them. So I thought he'd gone to the car, so I was just using my phone as opposed to getting one of the ones. So we kept cancelling out each other's order, kept telling us both that we had illegal operations. <laughs> then I went up to the deli and you can swipe your card and click favourites and it brings up things you've ordered in the past and then it sends it right to the deli. That wasn't working. So I go over to the deli and there's a huge line and you're supposed to take a number. So I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, because no one moves out the way over here. And uh, I get all the way up to the machine and this woman goes, does it work? I was like, oh, excuse me. So I go back to the back of the line and this guy goes, I was trying to tell you it didn't work, but you didn't listen to me. And I said, sorry, I didn't realize you were talking to me. So Pete stayed in line at the deli. All we wanted was some chicken salad. And I went around and got the rest of the things we needed. But... Uh, it was just like one little stupid thing after the next. It's supposed to be more convenient. Oh, and then we got to the cash register to pay and there's huge lines um, because you can take your groceries there too and just do it yourself instead of going to a cashier. Um, the quick thingy, which all the supermarkets have these days. So I'm stood in line and this woman's fiddling around with the machine. It doesn't seem to matter what line I pick. I always pick the slow line. So she's like, oh, sorry, this one's playing up. So she leaves to go to customer service. I put my thing through and it was absolutely fine, but it wouldn't give me a receipt. So <laughs> it said, wait for a receipt. Oh, I'm not waiting for a receipt. It doesn't matter. It was a debit. It was done. It's finished. I just wanted to get home. So then we go and I realize I get terrible heartburn. So I've been meaning to go to CVS for a week before Christmas. And I keep forgetting so to go get some Gaviscon. So we ordered a couple of slices of pizza for Ash and a couple of sandwiches and ran over to CVS. When I get in line and this woman in front of me starts playing up. Can I speak to a manager? So she had a problem. She'd already paid for all her stuff, but she had questions coming out the yin-yang. So and then we go into the pizza place and I walk in with Pete and the guy tries to seat us and I explain, no, we're just picking up. So he asks me who Pete is. What's his name? I'm like, okay. So I told him his name. And uh, he plays a little joke on Pete. Go up, get our order. And then there's this young girl who went to school with Ashley. She used to be in Ashley's class when Ashley was in elementary school. And uh, she's a talker. And I bumped into her two days before Christmas. And she's a very loud young lady. She speaks top of her voice. And she's just really loud. And asks you lots of questions and she loves Pete's to pieces. We walk in, she's sitting there with her mum and dad and there's no one else in, in the pizza place. It's really quiet. There's a couple of people picking up and uh, she's yelling at her dad, stop interrupting mom. You keep cutting her off. I was like, oh please, just wanna get in and out and home. So we get home, we eat, and I just made a cup of coffee and now I've come up here. Miss Ashley has to go to work in about half an hour. She just told me she's on the schedule till 12 midnight, but she doesn't think she'll be home till about 6 a.m. So, and then she's got the same thing tomorrow and the same thing on Monday. So, poor Ash. Pete's just calling his mum and dad to check in and say hello. And I tell you what, we walked in the house and it is warm. Definitely whatever they did, our boiler wasn't working correctly before Christmas now because everybody was freezing. It's actually warm. You walk in the house and you actually feel warm for the first time. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise yesterday. Whatever happened, happened because they replaced the piece and now it's 
toasty one. All right, guys, I'm going to go and drink my coffee. I'm not sure if I'll be back. If I am, I'll say hello, obviously. And if not, I'll see you tomorrow. I've got a nice creme coffee here. Look how that looks. Got my candle going, as per usual. Have a read of my Keep Calm and Carry On because I need to have a quick lesson in managing my worry, anxiety and fear. <laughs> oh, and yes, I was naughty. I have Valentine's candy out already. All right. It's pretty bad they have Valentine's candy out, but these are my favourite, the York Peppermint Patties. So I got some of them. And then my subscription to the Everyday Rachel Ray came in today. What is this? February already? Yeah, it's got to be February, otherwise I'm behind. Yep, February. comes. Oh, Jan January, February. Oh, I guess she's combining them. Um, chocolate heaven. Well, well, well. Super Bowl snacks. The Super Bowl's coming. So that's it for tonight. I am now going to chill out and have some YouTube time and talk to you guys a little later or tomorrow. Good night. See you in a bit. See you in the morning. Ta-ra a bit. Bye, guys. <coughs>